Sports Walk is back. Watch season two of Backpack Broadcasting's original web series that brings you the opinions of real sports fans. The entire first season and current season are available now on the Sports Walk YouTube channel and Facebook page. Check out the 2017 NYC WebFest official selection and see what other sports fans have to say on the hottest issues in sports today. It's easy. Just take the Sports Walk. It's a crossover podcast, ain't hard to tell podcast with the Seven Footers podcast. Yeah, yeah, in the building. Yeah, is that an ironic Woo. name. Seven Footers. Yeah, of course it is. All right. <laughs> did you get what? What did you ask? I said it's an ironic name. I just wanted some clarity. Why? Because nobody in the podcast is close to seven feet. You're the closest thing to seven feet. That's true. Two. Well, it was inspired from him. I got you. Honey. <laughs> You, you, see, you see, the, you're already starting problems, Brian. You're this, already... But this is what Brian does. At the <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the very He's beginning. Because, see, Dexter wants to do professional intros, and I ruined them. Yeah, that's how that, we... That's, that's, I, I know. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. It's not, well, it's ruining the fact that nobody now knows who the seven-footer is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 Damn, Damn, can you at least, like... Let, let no, 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 no. I'm trying to play you. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sure they've read the description. You know, they've <laughs> seen that no. Gerard Hector... How do you pronounce your last name? Jenna Lemoncelli. Lemoncelli. Okay, because you're Italian, right? Yes. All right, I just wanted, because it might be Lemoncelli. I don't know. That's well, what, it when I first is. met Jenna, that's what I said. Well, and, it is. And she was like, because y'all do the ch without yeah. the ch. Yes, yeah, so I, 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 I automatically would have said it right. See, I, I know you would have. Oh, we're vibing. Oh, Lord. See, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And she, she's in her Delilah's den voice. You hear it? Like, oh. see, we're vibing. Like because that. that's like, like my cute voice. Like, when I yell at Gerard, it sounds like this. And when I talk to you, it sounds like this. Who's, Yo, I love who's this. Delilah's yeah. what? He Don't always me. says this. It must Delilah's be one of his Dan. old man references. Dan. I don't old know. Old man <laughs> reference. Damn. <laughs> Dex, you know what I'm talking about when I say Delilah's Den. Like it's, it's like it's like the Quiet Storm. Oh, like, yes, see, the, these, Quiet Storm back in the nice these, these young, sexy these young kids. The only Quiet Storm I know is Mob Deep. Okay, okay. Yeah, you yeah. see, okay. All right, <laughs> we, 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 we not, we've, done, we've done too much. We can't mess with these far. young people because they I don't would know. like to introduce uh, this crossover podcast. Uh, people listening to Ain't Hard Tell, you know us. If you're listening to Seven Hers Putters podcast, you know them exactly. Uh, yes. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. So this is uh, Gerard Hector, who's been a guest on our podcast twice. Yes, uh, yes the yes. first three time guest now. Oh, yeah, three, time guess. three times! That's true. Three time guest. Yo, yeah. that's, he's like, a regular. That's, that's like Harden during that game when he when he scored like that game winner against the uh, Warriors. He's like two time yeah. MVP, but now it's three time three up time. in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. you three times. And Jenna, you were joining us for the first time. I'm yeah. so excited Thank to be here. Guys, I love your podcast. I like, I like to keep her hidden away though, because she'll know how to act in public. So oh right. my <laughs> god, I am. I people refer to me. Of this duo is the fun one. So, <laughs> oh, I, so you're old and boring. I know it's really hard for him to accept, but we're let's getting see. there. We're, let's, all right, we're working on it, right? Jenna's cool with me. Like we have, we this is our first time meeting. But it, is. it is, but we, we like talk so much. Yeah. Just so much like, in the last year. We, like, we literally met. talk so much. Well, now I'm part of their crew. See, so, yeah. yeah. you're, you're, you're in now. We're, we're, we're gonna make a separate group chat. Yeah, yes. Dex's, separate group chat. Dex is barely gonna answer during the day on Monday through Friday. I'm well, I mean, yo, that is that is like my, that's, that's what he's do. out doing. He, he's, like, he's, he's a working, he's work. a working I adult, and I'll I'll rarely answer. <laughs> but he, but like, random moments. but like Brian understands it, so he just sends me <laughs> a whole bunch of information, and then he gets home. Like, yeah, hundred minutes. Back to him. He's like, okay, but I always get back. <laughs> no, to no, no, I'm not even saying as light. I'm like. Because I know I'm like, all right, he's probably going to see this at some point. So I'll send him seven straight right. things. It's all useful information. Love it. <laughs> mostly useful That's information. the kind of friend except, you except want. Except when it's wrestling. Yeah. When it's wrestling. Anyway, I won't say, say anything like that. I nah, did, I did send him the reaction of a lot of black people reacting to Kofi Kingston winning the world title. Yes, he did. Congrats to my man. WWE champion. We are not talking wrestling. No, right we, we definitely yeah, not. I'm, I'm trying. Right I'm trying now. to get an interview. <laughs> he's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to get that on there. All right, NBA awards. We ain't yes. got much time. The reason the we reason are we're here. here. Yes. yes. Let's talk about it. The NBA season is. Wait a minute. Over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Rewind. What? We said who we are. You didn't say who you were. Yeah, your listeners know, but our listeners don't That's know true. who you are. Seven That's footers. True. We got eight hard to tell up in here. That's true. Tell these people who you are. Well, I am Dexter Henry, if you, you didn't hear. You, you certainly national, are. National my, weather national correspondent we from national. That was my national weather correspondent voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Cool. We'll have to do voices after this. Oh, my and God. We, we can <laughs> share. We can and I'm, yeah. I'm Brian Fonseca, media mercenary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Savage. We'll write dang. for money. <laughs> and, and the, the freelance phenom. And, and, and Seven Footers Pod, he is a noted... Nas Stan. No, no. I'm not a Stan. Not a Stan. Okay, I don't well, call myself a Stan. Right, I well, told you Nostradamus is whack. Like <laughs> Nazir too. 
I everything, mean, everything else is pretty dope. I mean, yeah, you're not a stan. <laughs> no, you're I'm not. Fan. What are you a stan of? I don't even know. Nothing. Yeah. I don't stand anything. Nah, I don't you, believe in that. Wrestling. Not Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, you, you yeah. Not Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Yes, Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Nah. Nah. you say Freddie Gibbs. When nah. you're a He's stan, had, you're like just a huge fan. You're, so yes. a, a fan is a no, rational, when you're, when a stan is like no. When you're a stan, when you're a stan, that means something can do no wrong. And everything, okay, everything I like has done wrong. Freddie Gibbs. Nah, he's no. He's had some joints where I'm like, eh. You know what I'm saying? He's had some. Yeah. A lot of them were early. The silence is because I don't believe you. <laughs> we don't believe you. You need more people. I don't care. <laughs> nah, he's not scared. I, I know. He, he's not. He knows. Nah, he's not I'm, very, nah. I'm very rational. I just don't believe in supporting people in seven, that, seven, that seven footers, sadistic way. The, the, these are these are two of the dopest guys in media. Yes. Real, 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 real lucky to be real, real cool with these dudes. Um, showing us the ropes and and all that. Jazz, I don't know about so. showing you the ropes. We're yeah, just all trying to that. figure Listen, it out. I ain't the dude you want to learn from. Unless you're younger than me, we, then maybe. We are all trying to. These dudes can't even take compliments, man. I know. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know what? We can't take compliments, but we should. Just, it's it's beautiful that we are able to come together and we both love each other's podcast. It really and is. And we're both doing good things, and we all love the NBA. Yes, we do. Let's oh my get gosh. it. We can talk some NBA. It's nothing um, I love more. Well, and we all cover the NBA. Yeah. Yes, yes, we do. Yes. Just what, so y'all know. Like. What did everybody think about this season? Um, you know, in in general, it was an interesting season. A, a lot of crazy storylines. What yeah. did everybody think of the season? Honestly. It was the craziest season I have seen in a very long time. Between the trades, the dead, the moves at the deadline, and everything, and the storylines, it's just pettier this year. And the storylines are juicier. Social media helps. I exactly. And I was speaking of that. I was just gonna say, like. I feel that social media has propelled the NBA more than it ever has this year alone. I don't know what it mm. is. I don't no, know what you, like the reason is because they're allowing other people to sort of provide content mm -hmm. just right. around the NBA, mm -hmm. whereas baseball's not, and that's why people don't care about baseball. And no I feel like, mm -hmm. and this is an important thing too, I feel like for the first time, people are actually seeing entertainment and sports intertwine within the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like okay. it's at its peak, is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? I'd agree with that. Yeah, right? I agree people with are that. embracing yeah. it finally. Yeah. It's, I um, I see, you've seen the definitely. You're seeing the, the guys on years. the cover of GQ more than yeah, ever. For sure. Like it's insane. Russ's GQ cover that he just had. And a lot of this with social media, these guys will be able to control their own brands to some yeah. extent with that. Well, right? the, the big thing too about why you know obviously we host an NBA podcast and we know you guys love the NBA and Jen and I always say we think it's the best sport and the best league in the world. I agree. And yeah. they take advantage of social media better than every 1, other sport. And the league right? allows it. The league allows it. highlights. Sure, knock yourself out. We don't yeah. care. Do whatever you because they want to promote the game and they realize look i'm getting older actually you're getting older i mean you guys are still young but like this but new we're also older. getting older. this new <laughs> this new generation <laughs> of fans old. watch the game differently how many people like that are casual NBA fans legitimately sit and watch a full game from tip to buzzer ends? Mm. Which might actually be a problem but even, moving but forward, it, but it, I know it what could you're be, saying. But, but, you yeah. even, but yeah. even if you're not and you're like me and I'm a diehard and I got league pass and I'm right. jump, I'm still jumping you around. Jump, you still, jumping around. I got my iPad out, iPad yeah. screen, yeah. TV, it's like multiple it's, screens. I'm crazy. I got it's, multiple screens, Twitter, Reddit, Holla, oh, <laughs> yeah, hashtag it's, NBA Twitter. Yeah, the fact that NBA Twitter is a thing. Yeah, I'm I'm all immersed in it. Listen, it's awesome. I, I love all the storylines this year. Um, you know, what's so interesting is I think this helps make the regular season more bearable to the casual fan. Because, look, sometimes it gets wild, right? You It gets to be like game 67, game 70, game 70. You're like, man, are we going to end this season already? But there's – oh. Social media Ke Ke Kevin Durant gets on Instagram and says something wild or whatever or gets in somebody's comments well, and, or whatever. And we're like, all right, we got talking point for a week now. Well, before, yep. we, before we get to the playoff talk, because something crazy happened in, in this week. <laughs> sure. And sure I, enough. And I saw you down there. I was like, we're going to talk about this. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Woo! Roughly, yeah, everybody's like, well, that's what I remember. I was, I was tweeting like bar, hell when that yeah. happened. And I saw and I saw it. I was with my boy and I saw this come on, on my phone. I was like, what? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was actually kind of disconnected from the NBA for a while. I'm like, oh, I actually didn't believe it at first and I was like is this really ESPN blasting this out right well, now? Well the, the funny thing that happened yeah. was when we when we first heard because Brian we were talking in the chat I think you might have said yo magic out we were all like what? <laughs> so I went straight to Twitter I said magic out LMFAO in yeah. all caps <laughs> and, 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 and we were all like nah nah so, somebody, somebody tripping me, whatever <laughs> so we, I went straight to Twitter and I, and I was like okay magic's out so I immediately like got a gif of, of uh, Daenerys Targaryen like saying where are my dragons whatever and I was like oh she, genie killed another one yeah. like uh -huh. I tweeted <laughs> Out a gift Not even knowing uh, what Jeannie didn't know. Jeannie had no. Yo, I tweeted idea. out a gif of D'Angelo Russell laughing, <laughs> and then and then I tweet, "This is not gonna be." That's petty as hell. Yeah, this that is, is petty. for all the. <laughs> then I tweeted out a visual joke of a sink being outside and being yes. like, "Oh, 
uh, the media learn about this before Jeannie Buss. <laughs> and and <laughs> Mich- uh, what's her name? Ramona Shelbourne said that he did that. LeBron and him hung out or had a meeting, yes. whatever, and nobody knew, nobody right. had any idea, and then he just came in and did it. Not he, even he his was close with Jeannie friends. for three yeah. hours the day before. They yeah. were talking about plans for next year. Exactly. Yeah. He was a liberated man. Listen, here's the here's the thing. Well, and wait, let me just say this real quick because he said that he wanted to uh, be like, magic, be magic, right? Again, yeah. He wanted to be himself, and I was like, oh, I could relate to that because I kind of left St. Francis for the same reason. Yeah. To well, let you be Brian, yourself. Here's, yeah. here's they were the thing. You down. <laughs> Do you... No, the problem was I was being myself. And it was kind of like, see, this is what you can't. I get it though. You can't be yourself and work in media relations. You, you know listen, what I'm saying? Right? You got to pick one or the other. You can't do a that lot of true. things. Yeah. Work a lot of ways and be yourself. Here's the thing that and, and growing up, Magic was my favorite player, and you know that he's very good at, at being, being Magic, Magic Johnson. Yes, he is. Yes. If you've ever met him, I know you've met him before. I've met him before. He makes you feel like you're the most important person in the room when he meets yep. you. Like he. He's so good at being famous that's and so, like that's a face. That's also weird. <laughs> but there, but it's apparently R. R. Kelly's pretty good at doing that too. Well, not that I'm trying to make oh, a correlation, bro. Well, let's not do that. Let's not do that. But let's what I'm around. saying is like that. That's there, not always the best trait. There, there. There, there is an art to that. Charles Barkley is very good <laughs> at that so as well. Mean. Like yeah. these guys are very good at being famous people. Okay, and that's a better way of putting it. And what Magic <laughs> likes to do is. Glad hand, kiss babies. Oh, yeah, you should definitely come to the Lakers. Like, all the top line, easy networking because he's so charismatic. Yeah. He just walks in. Okay, whatever you want. But, you know, president of basketball operations, that's like nah, 2% yeah. of that job. He can't be yeah. himself. The other 98%, no, is, dog, is you got to roll your stuff. sleeves you up and go, grind. Like, you you don't want to do that. You can't even so much as say, oh, Damian Lillard's a great player. You can't say you can't none of that. Any of that. Right? And, he's used and he to be, wants to love the game. He's used to being an ambassador for the game. Yes. yes. Now, but here's the other side of it real quick before we get to the playoff stuff. Do you guys look at this as Magic quitting on the job? Because Magic... You know, because you're a longtime mm-hmm. fan. Magic's had some other stuff he's done. The Magic Boy, Hour? Yeah, the Magic <laughs> when Hour. When he was head coach of the Lakers? <laughs> head coach of the Lakers. Yeah, in you two young to remember that. Yeah. Wasn't good. Lasted Mag- like a week. Yeah. It sounds like a porno. What is that? Yeah, like what? The Magic Hour. I mean, Are we like a, a, out a of porno, this? A porno would have been better than that. <laughs> 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 it was, listen, Magic's my dude, but that was not good. What was it? It's yeah. a talk show. A talk show. Oh. Which you would think. Magic would be good at that because he likes to talk. No, it happened to Chris Jenner too. It didn't work out. Yeah, not good. But maybe Magic also realizes when he's not good at something. Sometimes that's important too, though, right? Know your yeah. strengths and weaknesses, baby. You, right. That's a good point. Se- self-awareness, self-awareness. self-awareness. For all you kids out there, self-awareness <laughs> is very important. Quitting on the but job, I don't know, but the timing. The, the thing that I didn't like about it, I'm sure you guys will all agree. Genie and Magic have known each other since Magic was 19 mm. and Genie was 18. They're wow. they're in their mid fifties. I don't now. like the way he did it. Like, how do yeah. you? You're talking about the, like forty years. Th- th- their entire adult yeah. lives. How do you not tell her? I think that's what clouded the relationship. You maybe in terms of actually him being hired. They're, in the too, first close. Place, yeah. they're too close. They're too close. Sometimes, yeah. yeah, that can yeah. be problematic. I've always said that you can't. Yeah, like. There's certain people you could work with and be friends with. Yeah. There's certain people you can only work with, and there's certain people you can right. only be friends with. It's rare you know though what to I find mean? like the combination yeah. of both. Yeah. And look, and, yeah. and, and on Genie, and this is on Genie, and this is a conversation for another pod and another discussion. Some of this has got to fall on her, and she's got to now. This is her opportunity to reset on the Lakers. Yep. Mm-hmm. She has to get out of that mindset of we're going to lean on the Brand. glory days of yesteryear. Yo, mm-hmm. nobody cares. Don't be bringing in, you know, Kurt Rambis' wife. None of that. <laughs> Out. People want to know, can you run a competent organization? Out. We don't care about that no more. Listen. At least you have LeBron to if, start. If, if, <laughs> if, I, if, I'm, if I'm her, I'm on the phone. I'm calling Masai Ujiri. I'm calling Jerry West. Are you uh, trying to trade LeBron, though? No. Did I'm not. he go to the Lakers for idea. Magic? Like, mostly, though? Magic apparently convinced him. So what no, is LeBron look, thinking? I wish. I wish. I, I think it's an L.A. thing, but I wish he went to the Clippers in hindsight. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, but I wish he went to the Clippers. Listen, we, this is a convo we should probably get into on another pod. But, like, yeah. listen. She, we got to get to these awards. Yeah, we got a lot. Of we got a lot. But yep. they, they, they got some work to do in La La Land. Definitely. So, you know, Lakers got their own stuff to figure out. But <laughs> <laughs> when we look back at the regular season, the big thing that everybody likes to do is what are the awards? Who won the MVP? Who won most improved six man, et cetera. So what we're gonna do on this crossover podcast, Ain't Hard to Tell Seven for this podcast. Do it. We are going to give our awards. We're gonna kick it off first with MVP. Uh Gerard, I'm going to start with you first uh, <laughs> for this, um, and then, we, th- then we'll go to Jenna. We'll go around the table. Love okay. it. A- a- around around the horn. No, 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 Let me no say this: no horn around the table. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard's had this same MVP since 
the literally opening night. Stop it. That's not. That's <laughs> actually. That's actually not true. That makes you sound. That, that, that makes you sound like you ride it for somebody. That is actually. <laughs> that is actually not true. Because <laughs> if you know, and if you listen to Seven First Podcast, as I know many of you do, and if you saw my preseason column, and if you read them on Twitter, uh, thank you. Like, yeah, tweet, about, you tweet about this guy a lot. But I, I picked Giannis Antetokounmpo preseason as my MVP. You and did. So that tells us that you've got him now as your MVP. No, no, he does not. Oh. I have James Harden literally by a beard whisker. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally a beard whisker. Now, why? I mean, it's the beard probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> because he's averaging 36 points a game. I get it. Stop. Don't, listen, man. Don't be. <laughs> listen, listen. You wild disrespectful. Don't be coming over Making here. arguments for I you. know, right? Coming over here and talking. <laughs> my, my positioning is, and listen, again, if anybody has Giannis, I have no argument. I have Giannis. And, listen, and if Giannis wins it, I'll be right because I picked them preseason. So it ain't no skin off my back, ah. right? My only thing is, is I look ah, at covering all your bases. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I, I look at too bad I picked what... Kawhi before the season. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look at what Harden did, particularly when they were eleven and fourteen out of the playoffs, mm-hmm. and all those guys were out with injury. Paul Capella, and he literally carried that team on his back in the tough Western Conference, and brought them back up to within until the end of the season, sniffing, and they were you know a half game of. Second place in the entire conference. It's it's a fair point, and it's very and, impressive. And right. the, the the big knock that I would like to give him is defensively, and I'm like, listen, he ain't making all NBA defense. Fine. That, no. that, that, Here's the like, thing, though. The, that other dude probably is. Yes. Like, I, I, I agree. <laughs> that kind of matters. I, I agree. <laughs> However, isn't that Harden's a scrub on defense? Top three in steals. Number one, number one deflections. Steals is overrated. Stop. And an excellent. Jeremy Lin gets steals. And an He's excellent. Not a good yeah, but you gotta look at how you, <laughs> you gotta look at how you get steals. Right. I agree, he gets matters. steals in the post. Playing post defense. And his post defense is actually right. better than most. And you know why? Because yeah, he, he's barrel he's, chested. And you can't move. move him. We were talking about this right. the other day. He's a big. You, you can't move him. No, I give him credit for so, his post defensively. Is good. I just have Giannis MVP. And because Milwaukee's not supposed to be this good. And here's what I think. <laughs> you also have the Harden backlash, right? It's very fancy on Twitter now and in basketball universe to be like, I hate watching James Harden play basketball. You know he why? Hunt, he hunts fouls, blah, 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 all this crap. That's they and de- don't that's foul a, him. That's that's cause they that's cause they compared him to Kobe. And you know how the Kobe stands are. Oh, oh don't yeah. get him started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. We are not. Don't get him started. I, start. now, I am a Kobe fan. Listen, the, the, stand, the, 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 the nation, the, the nation of Kobe stand knows how I feel. All right, so we we yeah. ain't we ain't going there. Yeah. Let's right? just say that we had to put our hoods up when we left here <laughs> one day because people were outside with torches trying so, to get his. So yeah, for me, oh, and, and the, 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 Wait, the for real. The, the, no. the, the, oh, I was like, what? The, the tough part about it is, is that in a year, wh- whoever wins it. In a year uh-huh. where the other person didn't exist, whoever the, the other one's an automatic you, MVP, yeah. right? right? So whoever wins it, right. no one lost it, right? In between those two, no one's gonna lose it. One of them just won. So you got, That's so all. you got, so you got Harden. Who you got, Jenna? I I have Harden the same. Okay, I, I mean, it, it's obvious. Look at the run that he was on his thirty point run. I mean. Let's be serious, Step guys. back threes, that footwork. Let's be Woo! serious. I don't, I don't think it's that obvious. I, I do. I think I it's a clear distinction. The, I don't think it's and, clear. And, and the, I do. Listen, the, the advanced numbers are very close, but they they, they favor Harden by like and a tick. You a know what tick. sold me too when they had that terrible run in the beginning of the season and they had a ton of inter- injuries and still came back. And now I honestly do believe that they're going to win in the Western so Conference. I, I mean, I that's do. cool, so but Giannis I'm, probably wins Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, absolutely. So he said, I think that his argument too. might be that he's better on both sides of the ball. This all I, I see and, and also and also the case that you make about the Houston Rockets team, I can say I say the same thing about Milwaukee because they're they're not supposed to be. How much of that is Giannis? Or how much of that is Bud? And oh, that's right. You, you no, you I think Bud? a lot of that is and Giannis. Listen, man. and by the way, look look at look this up on uh, Strength of Schedule. Milwaukee's had the easiest schedule the last three years in a row, and they play in the lesser conference. I'm just gonna put that out there. Look, oh yeah, I'm not. That's true. I'm, that's a good point. That's a look, really good point. I'm not. I don't dying, ever back him up. I'm not. I'm not dying on the Giannis Hill. I'm just saying he's. I'm just saying he's my MVP. And, so, and, and as I say, right. if Giannis respect. wins, okay. so here's, here's what. Right, I, here's, yeah. Whatever. What yeah. I'll say to all of this is, I feel like Giannis is probably. I think he's going to win. But if you go by the way I generally like to mm-hmm. vote on most valuable player, mm-hmm. which is who is more valuable to the team mm-hmm. right. and what they've done, I think there's a lot of value in the points that you guys make in what James Harden did, mm-hmm. right? But I think there's also a good argument that Giannis is kind of was a better on both sides of the ball on a team that had the best record in the league. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're and, probably not a playoff team without you, him. You said it right there. I see your argument. You, you said it right sure. there. If yeah. you right. want, If you want to go by strict MVP, best player, best team, done. 
Yeah. Even though people even, vote that way, though, I think that's still how a lot of people. Case vote. closed. Yeah, I don't. Argue, I don't though. vote that way though. I try to, as we were talking about yesterday. I try to get a combination. I try to get like literally who is the most valuable, but then you know from Value's every tough. every year from 07 till now would have been LeBron James. It would have been. I agree. But like, Thank but, you. but LeBron wouldn't win it this year though. No, that's no, why I said no, until yeah. now. No, not this year. Not yeah. this year. Yeah, but o- o- no. only because he got hurt because they were the four seed when he was healthy. So I mean, if they so if they finish in the four or five seed, would you vote him MVP? Probably. Yes. He'd, he'd, probably. Hundred percent. Probably because he he had twenty eight. Hundred percent. It's another another classic and LeBron we, season. And we yeah. wonder what But that's the thing. We take it for granted. Now, but, but here's another, the thing, though. Twenty seven seven. Yes, no, wait, wait, LeBron, whatever. Wait, here's the thing. He was doing that at twenty years old. You 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 still praised you praised Giannis for his excellent defense. LeBron was trash yes, just, on defense. That's this year. a great point. Even. That is a fantastic. Yeah. Yes. He yeah. was this year. But here's his bad. He's still trash on defense, okay, but, <laughs> but he was what he did with the Lakers. No, but he wasn't he wasn't that bad. Uh, before he hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He wasn't that bad Ooh. before he, defensive metric. He wasn't that bad before he got hurt. Is what I'm <laughs> no, saying. No, he was. No, he was. No, he was better before he was the injury. Off before the injury. He was he, bad, yes, dude. He was but bad. He was better before the injury. He <laughs> I mean, wasn't. Yes. We are on the same page, yeah. my friend. I, 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 was he better than James Harden defensively before the injury? I would probably say so. Before no, he got no, hurt, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Before he got hurt, the veins are popping so. out of dry. Defensive, head defensive, defensive VRB, let me pull that up. I don't think so. No, you can't do that now because he got hurt. He tore his groin. He can't move the rest of the season. All right, so like, I, I, I have Giannis. You ever tore your groin before? I've uh, strained no. it. No, that shit hurts. <laughs> that sounds terrible. You know what I mean? Like, I don't tear my groin. I'm surprised he's playing. No, honey, I've been working hard. No injuries here, dear. All right, moving on from MVP. Let's let's hit it. Let's hit most improved. This is controversial. Is All it? Right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I don't see how it, it is. You got to remember, I write for a Nets fan site. So I cover <laughs> the Nets. So I'm supposed to say. Ain't yeah. nobody coming at you. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony Puccio's not going to come <laughs> at you. He said ain't nobody I, coming. I'm supposed. Uh, no, nah, that's my, <laughs> oh my, that's my boy. I know, I'm, I'm just saying. I know, say, Pooch, I know Pooch, my man. Yeah, that's our guy. But look. Shout I'm out to suppo- Pooch. I'm supposed to say D'Angelo Russell's most improved player. No, you're not. But he's not. You're not supposed to Because he's not. You're not. You will say the truth. Yeah, I'm, I'm being, I'm so, being, I'm being. Tell the truth. Who is we all have the same person. Here? I think we I'm do. Being facetious, right? Everybody's Pascal. Pascal. No, Pascal. no. I actually, you guys are about to like light me on fire. No, no, I have I D'Lo. I do. But I get that. I, I do. I was going to go De'Aaron Fox. Go. No, I was going to go De'Aaron Fox. I would like that pick. Right? Here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me say this though. I, t- I try to stay away from the guy who was basically the top pick in the draft a few years prior because D'Angelo Russell. I feel like you should be this good. Yes. Victor Oladipo, I don't think he should have got most improved last year. I thought it should have been Spencer Dinwiddie. You see what I'm saying? Like, so going by my logic yeah. and being consistent, uh, being consistent. I, I understand Although Brian's Oladi- logic. Oladipo, I, understand I don't logic. like that here's, argument. Here's the I thing. Have a problem with that argument. Here's the thing. Oladipo did improve a lot, he though. He did. That's why I'm not mad at it. But for this one, I'm like, D'Angelo Russell was the second overall pick. He sort of developed into what he was doing this last year before he got hurt. Those 12 games that he played before Small he got sample, hurt, though. arthroscopic yeah. knee surgery. Yeah. He was averaging 21 and six. You know what I mean? But turning the ball over a lot. A lot. Yeah, small sample. And he's been great. He's improved a lot this year. I have Pascal Siakam because last year, nobody knew who he was. No one. And now... I mean, mean, no. We... And people... No, no, no. no. Deep deep NBA heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people knew who he was... He couldn't hit the shots he's hitting now. Yeah. No, no, no. The, nobody the no, he's hitting But nobody knows who he was. I mean, like, casual people. I right. barely, like, he's I knew a really who he good was. two-way player. Yeah. People, yeah. people thought that, oh, why did Toronto pick him in the first round and things like that? Because Masai and, saw something. But here's the thing. Like, D'Angelo That's Russell, to me, is a, better version, is a better version of what he's been. Yeah. Whereas Pascal yeah. Siakam's a totally different player. Okay. I do See, like I, your I, argument. I agree with that. Pascal that Siakam, Pascal Siakam is a whole wanna, new player. People want to say like, oh, he's uh he's on a great team. This isn't no. that. Kawhi Leonard's missed a bunch of games and he's carried the and load. So he's yeah. been Thank better you. than Kyle Thank Lowry. You. Thank you. He's been the Thank second you. best player Thank on you. that team. That Bold is but think true about statement. This. He's been better than Kyle Lowry. Even better than Serge Ibaka. And I get it. D'Angelo Russell. He's helped the team. He's he's been great since January. But those games that Kawhi doesn't play, Pascal is the one who's leading. I'm like. It, I'm like yes. literally the the award is not for the who's the better player. Right. The awards for who, who improved is the right. most improved, improved right. from last year, right. and that's Pascal. I, I agree with all that. I yeah. won't even repeat all that because yeah. well, Do you want to give a case for D'Angelo Russell? I do. I I agree with your argument, yeah. and I almost had him, but originally, remember a couple weeks ago, yeah. I had De'Aaron Fox. You did. Fox is your boy, which yeah. I liked. Fox which I liked the Fox. Liked, I liked votes for him. I vo- I like. I like votes yeah. for him and John Collins and Vucevic. Also. Well, I'm just Collins. going with yeah. D'Lo because. 
what pushed me towards him was that when's last time the Nets were in the playoffs? 2014, oh, 2015. 2015. So you're, yeah. at, you're like, looking at impact for his team. I'm looking at impact for the team and what he's done to propel them. Yeah, listen, you, you can't deny what he's done. I still don't think that's most improved, though. I still think that's just great a great season. Yeah, that's, no. I don't think I that's the most improved award. Listen, and here's the thing, because as, as you guys know, it's, it's... I think it's, that's it's, just uh, him becoming an all-star. That's what I think It's three places, right? So D'Angelo's going to get some votes, right? I mean, if... He might win the award. If, if you looked at Maybe. my ballot, my ballot would have gone because of the hype. Yeah, it, it would have gone Pascal, yep. D'Angelo, and De'Aaron Fox. That that would have been fine with that. That, that would have been I'm my ballot. So I'm fine yeah. with that too. And it, yeah, so he same. might he might be on there somewhere on these because it's, it's, it's top be, three. I think he's he'll be two. Be. I think he'll got a lot of second place. I think he, I think he's going to be two or one. He's such a big. He's becoming a bigger star now. He is. He is. So that's also working in his favor. But I think was getting lost at it is like the literal too big. He should have been. He should be this kid. No, but the literal definition of most improved is Pascal. And you you were right when you were like. People didn't know him and this and that. Honestly, I'm not. Well, sure. Remember, he was like he was last year, seven yeah. points a game. The, the, the yeah. guy, the guy in Toronto who we were all talking about last year was OG Ananobi. No one's talking about yeah. Pascal. It was OG and, and 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 Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 All right, we got to move through these quickly. Uh, yep, yep. Six man. Uh, we <laughs> all. I, I think this is easy. <laughs> we all have Lou <laughs> Williams. Sweet Lou. No. Uh, he averaged over 20 points a game this year off the bench, and he was more efficient than he was last year, and which is crazy. Here's yep. the thing, too. Uh, the Clippers should not be in the playoffs. No. After that, to my no. Harris train. No. And they're there primarily Which because. We'll get to my coach of the year. Shout out to Doc Rivers. <laughs> they're, they're there primarily because of him and Doc Rivers. Yeah. Yep. Because yeah. of what they Absolutely. All right, so we all, we all have Lou Williams. Yeah, we have Lou Defensive player. I can't even say defensive. <laughs> defensive player of the year. Um, interesting here. Brian, in <laughs> usual fashion, because I can't make a decision. Hedging, hedging, hedging <laughs> is can't make All a of y'all should go first. <laughs> well, yeah. I was yeah. looking at the doc that we have, and I was like, why are there so many names? Am Yo, I missing l- l- Let me say something real quick. When we did our, the first time we did oh, our God. hip-hop <laughs> awards. He was like, well, nah, it's Freddie Gibbs. Like, <laughs> I have like five honorable mentions. This is what Brian does. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I had a I had a four. I'm exa- I had a three, I'm, or, three yes, or four I'm, way tie for fifth place. So you place can't make decisions. No, he's No, I have multiple ties. He struggles to make decisions about what to eat for lunch. It's tough. No, but that's an important thing, though. What? Goodbye. Lunch decisions? I know lunch is important. I, think. <laughs> oh, I was like, wait. What? I, was like, I, was like, I get lunch is important. He is important. right. But yeah. dinner is more important. Uh, I feel like. Right, right. Uh, we're going to we're gonna come to Brian last. Um, <laughs> lunch is more important to me because lunch is on I got, me usually. I, I got Giannis, and it's funny because ah. you can you can tell, right? Essentially what I did here was hedge my bet, right? Because Giannis has had such an incredible season. I made a decision. I cannot feel. I, just, I wouldn't God. feel right with him leaving the season without any hardware, right? Like so, I'm like. So you wanted to make sure you got something. I'm like, damn. and and mind you, I you, I can make the perfect case to be defensive player of the year, right? I mean, it's defensive plus minus is out of control. Oh. His defensive rating is top one or top two in the league. Yep. So I mean, he's a monster on that on that end of the floor. You, unfortunately. M- my decision was the same thought process <laughs> as you. I couldn't let them both. I couldn't let one go. You've agreed on every award so far. It's really sad. That, that all, well, except that, that except, except, except that often happens. Don't worry. No controversy. We will disagree in really soon. <laughs> <laughs> we know. That's because that's because she copies off my homework. That's... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? I started actually because we do like we have a doc where we prep our notes. Yeah. I stopped filling it out and copy and paste to do my own doc because he always accused me of stealing his shit. Oh, excuse that's me. Fine. You can I already curse. You can say we are out here already. Because he makes gang, me gang. so angry. So I haven't been telling him. And then I save questions for him on the pod. And I'm like, question. And I don't put it there. I just write in. in wow. That's we don't, not, that's we don't work does. like that. Yeah. Uh, well, he we, got we petty. Share, he got petty. We share a doc. We share a doc, too. Yeah. yeah. He got petty. So, I agree you know. sometimes. Uh, y'all, yeah. some y'all all petty like the NBA. <laughs> that's, that's 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 but the for NBA. real, Giannis, Brian, you have defensive. You, you have, we have different things than both of you. You have Miles Turner. Barely over Rudy Gobert. Leading the league in shot blocks. Wow. Barely, barely over Rudy Gobert. Now, I can argue shot blocks is overrated just like steals are overrated. Oh. Uh, yeah. But if you keep him in play. But here's the thing with Miles Turner. And I love Miles, by the way. He secured the bag. His help defense. He did. His mm-hmm. help defense in the games I've watched Indiana. A lot really better. Good. Excellent. Still got oh, some excellent. footwork stuff to work on. Yeah, off ball defense has been really good. Look, for, we're splitting hairs. I get better Rudy too Gobert. if I got a raise. Yeah. Rudy Gobert's Rudy. numbers, I think, are actually a little yeah. bit better. But I think with Miles Turner, it's also like Indiana surprised me. They're yeah. not supposed to be this good. Yeah. And when I watch games, I see that he's a bigger factor than what his numbers portray. Right. So I feel like he kind of deserves. Whereas something. Rudy sort of is the system in Utah, right? I really yeah. enjoy your argument. Dude, that's that, and that's my pick. And I have Rudy just because his. Plus minus off Rudy, Rudy might be Rudy might so be number good. one defensive rating. I think. By the yes, way, yeah. let me let me say this though: I have no problem with any of them winning. No, I, I don't. Really don't. Yeah. I have this any is not. This is picks. not a crazy. If you had a problem, it was going to be a problem. Oh <laughs> shoot! <laughs> don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. I didn't expect that from him. <laughs> yeah. I actually like my eyeballs just got huge. I was like, all right, real, quote, welcome coach, to the family. Coach of the year. I 
I have there's like ten, oh, there's ten deserving guys for Coach of the Year. Jenna yeah. and I are on the same page. With we this. are we both have Doc Rivers. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna oh, yeah. I'm gonna go back to something Brian said about the Clippers should not should be not. in the playoffs. It should at be a lottery all team. I'm with Brian on this. I think that's why Doc. This is probably the second Doc's, best coaching yeah. job after he's the ever title done. team, especially yeah. after yeah. losing a lot of guys. Yeah. Yeah. Too. You have to hold, I might change my mind. <laughs> you might have to hold and piece a team together multiple times in the last eighteen yes. to yes. twenty oh, they, months. They, move so they traded many their guys. best player twice. twice: Blake Griffin and yeah. Tobias Harris. Yep. And they and you know role guys like Boban who were important to that team too. I think right. I, I'm kind of impartial to the coach that gets a lot out of a misfit bunch mm-hmm. of group where yep. you don't think it's going. So Easy. somebody wants to go with Doc or even like a Nate McMillan who should have got some more votes last year. Um, which I saw you That's did. Gerard, yeah, do uh, you have uh, Nate McMillan? I, I rock uh, with Nate. Like, right. listen, no Oladipo all year. I mean, that, that, right. that, that is the best player by far. Yes, right. Oh, yeah. You got Boban. Uh, sorry, Boban. Boyan leading that team in scoring yeah. right now. It's it's crazy. Miles is playing well, as Bri- as Brian mentioned. Yep. My boy, Demontis Sabonis, putting in yes. that work. Yep. That is he's, your boy. He's getting. He's getting. <laughs> <laughs> True. No. Ty- Tyreek Evans. You know who and, hasn't even had a good season. And but no, yes. but and and Nate has changed the way his philosophy on coaching too. Nate never used to be a fan of threes. And listen, he's evolving with the game. They let's, need. Let, they need a really good. Let's guard. be real. You can literally have seven dudes for coach. And I, Mike yeah. Malone. Yep. That's my uh, pick. Budenholzer. I wouldn't even you be mad at Nick Nurse. At Nobody mad. No, 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 I wouldn't be mad at Nick Nurse. Um, Dave Kenny Atkins. Yeah, Kenny Atkins. Kenny Atkins. Yeah. That's a whole nother yeah. story. Oh, that. Don't even get me joke. started. I'll Kings do a whole pod Dump, on that. Dumpster yep. fire. Kings uh, the joke. original. Uh, you have, you with Mike Malone? Barely over Doc Rivers and some of the other guys. So you like some of the love for Doc Rivers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he's in, look, four or five of these guys are deserving. I just give it to Mike Malone because I didn't, I I really like Denver. Yeah. Heading into the season, they're yeah. depth wise, but I didn't think they were going to be this. They we'll, look we'll, a lot better. We'll, we'll get also. to this in playoffs. I'm curious about Denver. Yeah. I'm very oh, yeah. I don't disagree with that. But at times. The regular season? Money. The, yeah. But yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike Malone's been good. That's a yeah. solid mm-hmm. choice there. Can't go wrong Definitely. with that. Definitely. Love it. All NBA teams, guys. Yep. Uh, yep. Interesting. Yes. I always like this because it's fun. I thought that for the first team. It was pretty set. I see we got we have we some have the same backcourt. All of us have Every, the same backcourt. The backcourt was if if you didn't have this backcourt, then you don't watch yeah, basketball. Yeah, no. I mean, I it's, it's Harden and Curry so easy. Let I me mean, let me be a little bit more mean. You're an idiot. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's Harden and Curry. I, I mean, agree. like I don't see an argument that you could put anybody else there. Seriously, I really don't. We like, take Steph Curry for granted. We do. We do. I think we, we do. take Steph yes, Curry. Yes, we for do. Granted. We do. Uh, so we all all four of us have that Harden and Curry. Um, yep. Here's where. Do we, do we have this yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, co- some, we got some difference. Well, is it, we funny. have the same. The, 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 the podcast, the, the podcast, yeah. agree. Oh, so we, Dex and I, both have Paul George right. and Giannis. Right. You guys both have Giannis and KD. That's right. I mean, which, yeah, Giannis is the no-brainer. Look, Agreed. I almost put KD over Paul George because the second half of Paul. Remember, I had Paul George as my MVP up until All Star break. So, yeah, I did too. And the second half, we, it kind of, you know, this is this is. Listen, now I'm, I'm going to be clear. Y'all know that KD's my dude. I, I rock for that dude. However. Again, he's like that dude you take for granted because he's like steady rain. He's a metronome. It's just you look up, you're LeBron, like. LeBron Curry, same thing. It's like, oh, yes. 27, 7, yeah. that. Yeah. No. I agree. By the way, shooting the lights out. The yeah, I know. most efficient, so efficient person in the middle. And you're like, yeah, it's yeah, fair. whatever. I agree. Because it, 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 yeah. it doesn't excite you. You're I, like, all right, cool, whatever. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I either. just think I wanted to reward Paul George a bit because I think he's had such a good year defensively as yes, well. Too. He has, but yeah. he fell off hard. He did. He I did. think some of that had to do with his shoulder. So if you want to knock him for that, I have no problem with you guys doing that. I ain't going to fight you all on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but... He, but gotcha, he, Bullen. <laughs> but like, yo, where if he didn't have the season he's had, even though he's... You know, sort of fell off a little bit. If he didn't have the season he's had, where would Oklahoma City be? I not good because Russ not hasn't good. been good. Ru- Russ, yeah. Russ, oh. well, for Russ oh. standards. Yes. You know, shooting the ball, he's had one of the worst seasons. And, of anybody you know, ever. With, with the usage he has. Yes. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Centers, center also was interesting for all of us. Yep. Uh, Brian, you had uh, Embiid. I had Jokic. I almost went Jokic. I had Jokic first team center. Yeah. Uh, you also had Embiid. Embiid. Yep. Love JoJo. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you Jenna. did something that I don't think any NBA writer is going to lo- do. None. We like it as gangster. We do, yeah. You Thank went you. with Anthony yeah. Davis. I did. Because let's let's remember that he was most people's MVP pick. In until the beginning just, of the season? Until before, he people off. Yeah, until he got people mad. I, so now they're going to oh, yeah, keep him off yeah. the board. So now That's why I like that you have him there. Him. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. I, I kind of like, find that petty, to be honest, when like our fellow colleagues in media who have votes decide... Well, I don't like the fact they did that, so I'm not voting for him. It's yeah. like, but this is it has why nothing but, to do with this. Yeah, but, but this is this is why this is kind of why young 
mostly black athletes have their sort of feelings about the mostly white media. I agree. You know I what agree. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Sure. I think I, I think the only thing that hurts him is he, the games played and obviously how yeah. he right. sat out there. Yeah. Now, yes. talent-wise, should he probably be on that team? Probably. Yeah, I see the argument as to why people don't have him there, but the pettiness, I think, is not yeah. needed for this decision. Uh, you know? All right, second team. Uh Woo. This was interesting. Yeah, too. we got some we got some variety. Here. At the guard spot, everybody well, no, everybody except for Jenna. Uh had <laughs> here we go. had Damian Lillard. Yeah, we we have Dame. Uh Jenna has Russ on the second team. I do have Russ on the team. I know some people don't want to have him on the team. Yeah. Uh Brian, of course, went with Kemba Walker as one of his second guards. I was guards. surprised by that. No, I'm I guess not. Brian, of course. Because you <laughs> love Kemba Walker. No, no, no. Because here's I do. the thing. Wildin', son. Walker. his numbers are really good. And here's the thing. And he had the team did Oh, not here we go. The no, no, no. Our reference but I, but you need but here's did not make But here's playoffs. the thing. We're talking about dudes <laughs> who is Anthony Davis for you. We're talking about dudes who help teams like his team is worse than Giannis's that and is James true. Harden's and he almost got them into the playoffs. They were playing meaningful games until the very last night of the regular season. But he's not in the playoffs. Yeah, but I, that doesn't mean he shouldn't <laughs> get all NBA you nah, know, something. I'm not, nah, I'm He's not probably going to get third team on most. I gave him the nod over Kyrie and some of the other guards hmm. because he also played 82 games. Uh, oh, Jenna, how do you feel about that over Kyrie? Um, mm. I, uh, I, I'm I thought he, I just thought he had a better season. That's just me. Kyrie will always be number one for me. Kyrie had a fantastic season, best of I his mean, career. Now, if you want to knock you. him for being best of his career, oh, yeah, absolutely. I, listen, I agree. listen, 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 yeah. listen. Listen, uh, true shooting, per, effective field goal, win shares. See, see, Kyrie. See, you start, you start, you start doing that, but then you make yourself sound like some of these other dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, like, you you, no, you are. Why, 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 why you, you, you make yourself the sound like some dudes, of these man. other dudes, man? Why are you he mad at the analytical savage. dudes? Like, yo, I thought you was more yes, Charles Barkley than Daryl Morey. Wow. <laughs> Charles Barkley. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd be offended about that. I know. Yeah, I would Charles definitely Barkley. be over the Listen, table. Listen, a lot of black people. Nah, you, 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 you like and I know. We said there's a place. You and I know. We've said this on the podcast. There's a place for analytics, obviously. I do But when I watch Kyrie Irving and when I watch Kemba Walker this year, I feel like Kemba Walker... Look, that team overachieved, Boston underachieved. I agree. Straight up. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree I don't with that. But here's the thing. All, and I feel like all Ke- that to and I feel me, like Kemba's the main reason they overachieved. Agree. And Kyrie maybe no. the oh, reason see, they that, overachieved. See, that's where we disagree. All maybe. that to me is not on Kyrie. I know Kyrie's you want to blame Brad Stevens so badly. But, but why isn't it? it? But why doesn't Brad get any blame though? I why agree. doesn't Kyrie? Ky- Ky- are you kidding? They've been not. killing Kyrie in the media. I don't think they Brad have. Brad Stevens been skating been, off They've been this. skating. They've been killing yeah. Kyrie. Yeah. Killing that Kyrie. That is true. All mm. right. Well, we can, let's not stay in this too long. They can do a little let's bit. Let's not stay in this too long. A lot of us. The, th- if they've been killing him there, he better not come to New York. Uh, <laughs> Brian, you, Brian, you have Kawhi and Kevin Durant on yes. your second team. I had the same. Uh, Gerard, you had Kawhi and Paul George. So this kind of goes with the, right. yeah. with the KD exactly. flip-flop there. Um, centers is kind of also the same in flip flop. Brian yep. maybe the biggest difference. Brian had Jokic, <laughs> as did I. Well, it's kind of flip flop yeah. there, and you did, so it kind of switched yep. it there. Yep. And uh, I had Embiid, and uh, Jenna had Embiid. All right. Mm-hmm. So I mean, a lot of our stuff is really similar. It's all the same we're people. Just we're, things. we're moving them from first uh, to second. Thir- yeah. Third team is where I kind of think things. The, the can third team get a little is interesting. tough. Uh, I think the thing was what a lot of people put Westbrook on. Three mm-hmm. of us did, and we and uh, Jenna had Westbrook in the second team. Um, so. Brian had er, Kyrie, who he, he did give some love to. Uh, Westbrook, Thank you. Blake Griffin, LeBron, and Vooch. Yeah. Uh, I went Westbrook, Bradley Beal. I know. I'm the only Bradley. person to get Bradley. I, I was, I was going to go Bradley. I, should, I, om- I, I, I almost went Bradley, Bradley Beal over I did Westbrook. Too. LeBron, I'm a little surprised you have Bradley Beal over Kevin Walker, though. I'm actually, a little bit. Yeah, I'll think about Clay. Yeah, I I'll think about Clay over. I, I think. Clay hasn't even been so on that team. Pull, up, pull, like, pull, up, pull up Clay's numbers. Look, I know. I know. Good. I agree, though. He got off to a tough start. The guards are so tough. To answer his point yeah. about Beal, I thought Beal had a really good season in a crazy dysfunctional situation. Played all 82 games. I, I mean, don't disagree. Well, but he had to pick up the but slack. But if somebody wants to put Kemba over him, I don't have a problem with yeah. it. If you want to go Clay Thompson over him, I almost I went really Beal over no West. I almost went Beal over West. How bad did Clay start the season shooting? He was atrocious. Under 40% from three. Somewhere, you know, for his standards. Finished the season over 40% shooting. Yeah, I know, which which is impressive. Like, <laughs> I mean, but in that, but also with Golden State, he does get a lot of open shots. He, he does, he does. Yeah. Like, and so, he's one of the, really he's the second best in the world at knocking them down. Yeah. But I'm like, if I'm looking at these other guys, Kyrie does more for his yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Russell Westbrook has to do a lot. Yeah. Um, even though Russell Westbrook's shooting was terrible, I'm like, I got to give him credit for. Yeah, it's a triple double. It's hard to keep him off. Yeah, yeah. Third season exactly. In a row. And I got to give him yeah. credit for really deferring to Paul George this season. Yeah, and he, he was uh, okay. he had his probably his best passing season. I, so I was like, I, he should be. I, there. I would agree that at the four spots for this third team, Blake and LeBron. 
on. Everybody had that. Except for you, Jenna. You gave some love to Chris Middleton. I did. You were impressed with that uh, when I first saw you. I like Middleton. I, I like yes. Middleton. I'm she not mad. She was off your notes, man. <laughs> yes. right. I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that because, you know, like impact I and things like that. Impact. Break exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, look how much he's shown out. And yeah, nobody, I mean, and he's not in anybody's conversation. But why? Yeah, you know what he's I mean. Had a solid year, exactly. Better he's had solid. a solid all-star. year. No slump. All star. Everything. We didn't talk Defense about too. anything. Exactly. His two way game is insane. He's a no brainer for me, and I don't know why you guys didn't pick him. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably the third biggest reason that Milwaukee is what they are. Exactly. Behind Giannis and um, and Bud. And, Bud. and yeah. back to what you said, Milwaukee shouldn't even be as good as they are, and nobody's giving Middleton credit. But you know I what? I, I, that's I, a good point. I think Blake Griffin is almost like this is Blake's best season. Everybody's sleeping on him because he's in Detroit. And he's yeah. almost, he's almost underrated now. He is. He is. Like, I think we want, he has a three point shot. He can handle the I ball. He can pass. That. That's why he, he had a great season. I'm like with me. I'm like. I got to give somebody Detroit love, and I almost put Drummond over Vucevic. Oh, thank but you. I was thank like, God, you didn't do that. No, nah, but I was like, <laughs> with, with Vucevic, he has to get there because somebody from Orlando got to get Why love. Why you ain't give Rudy no he, love, man? Why Rudy ain't your third team? I got Rudy. I, mean, yeah. I, got, I got Rudy. It was very close. I'm saying it was very close. <laughs> I, I see, to... see, here's the thing. What I almost did was have multiple centers on my squad, but then I was like, then I'm going to play out. So I was like, you know, yeah. it's a tough time making uh, As you know, stuff, all yeah. NBA makes you go by, go by position. They force yeah. you to go position. Yeah. Now, in the rookies, mm-hmm. on, go moving to the rookies where you don't necessarily have my to favorites. do that. But, um, you, you do love the rookies. Those I are your, do. Those are your my babies. boys. <laughs> okay. We are. Uh, Donkic. Um, Obviously, Doncic, who yeah. did we even do? Did we do rookie of the year? We did not even do oh. that. Oh, oh wow, that's fine. Did oh. that, we'll do it. Does everybody Doncic. Doncic for rookie yeah. of the year? Doncic. 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 Yeah. yeah, stop it, Je- stop Je- it. Uh, 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 <laughs> tell him, tell him, who is it? And you can't see Je- Jenna's you're face. You're Trey Young. You're Trey Young. You're Trey Young. <laughs> Since day one, your girl I, I, has I, been I in will, his corner. And everybody was laughing that that at me. I did. I definitely laughed at her. Hard. All right, go hard. But but Doncic is rookie of the year though. Oh, we about to fight in the parking lot after this. <laughs> in the parking so, lot. Yo, we ain't doing the voices after dark. <laughs> it's not. not if you're picking Dodger. No, no. What, what give you, what get, now we did say uh, in other podcasts that Trey Young is an elite passer. He is. Uh, he wasn't very good up until probably the second half of the season. Yeah. Mid-January, he really turned yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah I was on. second half. But, so what, what ultimately did it for you, which is how he ended? Ultimately, what did it for me was the pettiness in me. Everybody, <laughs> everybody declared no. him the biggest Petty decisions bust. all day. The biggest <laughs> bust of the draft. He's gonna be this. What did you call him in the beginning? As, as, as you know, and I, I've she been on record. Receipts. I've been on record in numerous platforms and said it. I said Trey Young had the highest bust potential in the draft. I said it Pause. exactly. I, I admit I was wrong. Exactly. And you guys are right. He did turn it up in the latter half of the season, but his two way game's incredible. He has carried Atlanta out of a huge slump. Two way game's incredible. He's I mean, an incredible passer, a shooting he game. Oh, he, he's deep from three. Yeah, guy. Guys, I don't want to hear it. Him and that cute little unibrow <laughs> have pulled it out. Let me, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm, I want Dexter to, to give the Doncic side of this. No, there's, there's nothing for me to give. Right. It's, it's, I mean, right. I've been telling y'all about Doncic before Since, the draft. When he was in the Euro, no, 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 no. Yeah. no, no. Before the 2017 draft. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been all Before this. we started this podcast, now, now, let me, he let, was telling me about Luka Give Jenna a little bit of love. Let me give you a little bit of love. Oh my God! Somebody I, I have Trey Young second. I, I have Trey Young second. I have Trey Young second. As do I, I like the fact that Trey Young's come on late. He is not a bust. You made Gerard eat his words so far. Yeah. He's okay. a tiny little guy. Oh, so you're repping for the short people. Exactly. Brian well, you know, too. your girl is rocking 5'2 yeah. on Trae, a good day. 5'2 yeah. yeah. on a good day. Trey Young don't count. He's 6'3. He ain't tiny. And, that's true. I mean, like a I smaller guy. Like, he's like, Russ he when he Russ came like, in. Nah, he ain't 6'3. Nah, nah, nah. He ain't Damon Stoudemire. No, you he's know not 6'3 at all. He ain't Brevin Knight. And you guys are definitely going to light me on fire for this and probably everybody in America. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, and I know this isn't Luca's fault, but you come in from the Euro League. You're not even a rookie. No, 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 Oh, now you're going to go back to the Donovan Mitchell, Ben Simmons kind of deal. Don't, yeah. You come in, you haven't played against his competition. What was the knock? The Euro League's even more tough, some would argue. It's an argument. Here's the thing. You're saying that he's played against better competition before Trey did. I'm saying he's been in the professional space for quite a while. Here's the thing. I think that points fair to some degree because that was the reason I was trying to tell everybody. Yeah, going so to right. be so good. Yeah. MVP at 18 in the Euro right. right. But you had all these people who want to act like the NCAA game is better, which it's not. And I was Trash. trying to say this, right? 
Yes, trash is evident by the national <laughs> yes. championship game. Yep. So I understand. <laughs> I understand the point of where you're going. Yeah. However, he came in and proved and showed out against. These oh, hundred percent proved. So, yeah. Step back. Don't so get like, me wrong, but. <laughs> The but situations you like, you love are different. You love you some tray. I do love me some tray. Love you some tray. <laughs> That's right, you know. But I'm gonna tell that. Marvin about that. He ain't gonna be happy with all that tray love. Oh, I got a few people mm, you can't tell nah, about that. I know. Yeah. But I'm telling you guys, the ex- the experience that he's had, I just it doesn't match up for me. Trey came in cold turkey, legit rookie. Everybody was like, "Bust this and that." Proved himself the most. I think he proved himself the most. Don't I think Luca's arguably better, right. but. Rookie of the year, in my opinion, the argument is you're, who you're, came in here and was like, "Whoa, lights out!" Like we didn't expect. I, this. I do like that you're picking him out of spite because I'm all for pissing off <laughs> the Yo, basketball all about, writers. She's all about the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, she, I'm rocking rolls. with that. Yeah, I just you, still think Don. You're gonna have to come Ooh. back on a podcast so we can just talk about pettiness. Oh. I should want to do that. We should, we should do a pettiness. podcast on pettiness. Yeah, well, I'm all petty. I'm all for that. All petty. Oh my god, the jokes I'm gonna come up about. Since we're doing next, we have to do an all petty. I'm petty. So, yeah. Oh, you, you know. are. We uh, all can be petty. Uh, real quick, just to run through uh, your, your, the rookie your, teams. Just the rookie teams. Brian had Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Con Sexton, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Ayton for his first team. I had Doncic, Trey Young, Ayton, Jaron Jackson, Mitchell Robinson, Knicks. Shout out uh, on my first team. Uh, Gerard, you had Doncic, Trey, Jaron Jackson, DeAndre, and Marvin Bagley. Did we have the same? We had the same team. Yeah, oh no, oh. I, I, you had Mitchell Robinson. I did. Mitchell Robinson. I, Mitchell oh, sorry, on my yes. second team. Um, yeah. Uh, Jenna, you had Donkic, Trey Young, Marvin Bagg, Jared Jackson Jr., and DeAndre, DeAndre 18. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay, so you guys. Seven footers agree. Seven footers and, agree. And, and Triple wow. J, that's, that Triple J is actually. You love you some Triple J. Th- that's my dude. People forgot yeah. a lot about him when he, he got, got hurt. Got hurt. Yeah. I'm, yep. I'm making uh, a late change on my second team. Oh, oh look at him. Uh, and you want to know what that change is? He put a Mitchell Robinson on his team. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Brian, I forgot about him. Brian has. Uh, but I put him in over Jalen Brunson. Yo, so Brian, you know, how you don't have Triple J on any of your all rookie teams? That's no, he's there. No, he's on second team. He's on second team. He is. Mitchell Robinson, Alexander, Robinson, SGA, Kevin Knox, uh, Rody yeah. Karooks, and Jaron Jackson. Rody Karooks. I almost put him in on the first team, but like, the yeah, first team is hard to crack, man. Second team, I had Sexton, Bagley. Uh, and he got hurt. Gilgis he Alexander. Uh, Herders, who I really like in Atlanta. I love Herder. And Jaron Jackson. I barely left Herder off. Um, wait, good. did I put, I messed up. I put Jaron Jackson twice. I'm sorry. I messed up on that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add uh, Roddy Karooks, because I like to see. I thought he had a big impact mm-hmm. for the Nets. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gerard had Sexton, SGA, Mitchell Robinson. Rody. Uh, Rody and, 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 and Herder. And Herder. Yep. Uh, Jenna had Kevin Knox, uh, who's up there in rookies and scoring. Not as efficient, but he's up there. He'll get efficient. SGA, Mitchell, Rob- Mitchell Robinson, and Rodeo Rody, yep. I think, yeah, Kevin Knox, I think he'll be fine. Two so, Knicks. Two Knicks. On, on some of Is that crazy? Uh, it makes, no, but I, I, here's the thing, though. Hopeful. We said this after the draft. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> I hope well, that's Knicks good. <laughs> we said this after the draft. What if I told you? <laughs> no, we said this after the draft. I thought they nailed it by getting, they they those, by getting Mitchell Robinson, who I thought was going to be a first-round pick, by getting Kevin Knox, who I thought was the best player available, not uh, Michael Porter, because like the back injury, I'm like, yo, I don't know, too That's scary. Fine with that pick. And then with Alonzo Trier, come then, pick, the people. then we're picking up Alonzo Trier after the fact as an undrafted rookie and finding him. I thought that they they nailed it. I just don't know. What I mean, let's let's be real, Brian. It ain't gonna matter anyway. All them dudes getting traded. I don't know. Yeah, sure. When they get know. when they get Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Anthony I'm not, Davis. I'm not. I don't know. I, oh stopped. my! Yo, you, now you just troll. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting next what, fired up. I, I will say one thing on this podcast. <laughs> I said the other day to my boy. The only thing I'm looking forward to right now as a Knicks fan that I'm counting down the days now. The regular season is over. That draft lottery. Oh yeah. Ooh. And I have never been so nervous for a draft lottery, but <laughs> I am nervous. Well, here's we here's a quick question. We got to go live. Here's a quick question. Oh no! No no! I can't be here. I can't be on camera. Why not? Nobody, you know why? Because they're, like, they're gonna get the fourth overall pick, damn. and they're gonna be like, "Damn, nobody Jared Culver. needs to see me." I like Jared Culver though. Nobody needs here's, to see here's me. The question. You wouldn't want Jared here's Culver. The question. If they get the number one pick, what are you going to do? Y'all would like to see me after that, but nobody <laughs> needs to see that either. But you like nobody, Zion like that though? I'm fine with them getting Zion. But do you, do you think well, they'll hold on to it? Because you they like John Morant also. I don't. It's an asset. I don't care. Oh, you want that? You want RJ Barrett? If no, get, no, he wants Anthony Davis. He like trade all that to give me Anthony Davis. Yeah, that's what he wants. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you don't Tra- you don't want the rookie? No, I'll take the rookie yeah. if I know like KD and Kyrie are coming. Okay, KD, Kyrie, and Zion let me Williams tell you, if Kyrie Irving well, comes to New York, if? I will I'm not literally talking. drop dead. I'm, I'm, you see, I'm not even gonna let I'll myself be right. get that happy. <laughs> oh, he'll be he he wants Kemba to come to New York. Well, here, no, 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 Kemba. Odds are, KD and Kyrie ain't gonna want to play with a rookie. 
So no, 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 no. Maybe, but they might want to play with Anthony if Davis. If it's Zion, though, yeah. they'll want to. Come I don't, on, I don't, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Kyrie, I think Duke, Zion's come on. Here's a, here's the bottom line, guys. See, y'all be wilding out thinking rookie. Listen, no, no, no. Many, Zion's a little different. Of the NBA, According to most people, Zion's a little different. Even though I know we have our reservations about what he could be at the next NBA, level. How many rookies from day one have been able to contribute to championship level teams? Can count them on a hand. Magic Johnson. Yep, one. Well, define uh, contribute though, because you're talking like, like like literally come in and be an uh, impact player yes. on a championship level team. But what's an impact player? Rotation player, or do you rotation mean like a player starter? Yeah. Rotation player, because a lot of them, year. a lot of them could be rotation. Well, to be players. a rotation player, that at least in the first year is pushing to all star level. Yes, players. yes. Mm. That's, the That's not a rotation player then. You're in the rotation. You're in the rotation. But no, but if you're pushing to all star, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's someone, hard. someone pushing to all star. It's it's hard. It's hard man. to do. No, then you're hard. not. Then you rarely find that. Th- that's because but here's the thing: a lot of people think Zion's the best prospect since LeBron James. So but, you know, even, I hate but that even, even Brom was yes. ready to. B- Brown wasn't ready to be on a championship level team's rookie year. I'll say that. I agree uh, with that. I mean, but here's I don't know. I would have liked to have seen. Stop, hold on, stop, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, hold on, stop, hold on. You mean to tell me he couldn't shoot, Brian? Stop. That doesn't matter. In that, in that, in that NBA, that didn't matter. Oh, oh really? In how, that, in that how come, NBA, how come when he went, when he was ready for this first time, and Pop was like, "Don't worry about that, dude. He don't shoot." Yeah, he was with Cleveland though. Here's what? the thing, but, but you're, no, you're you're distorting it because if it was a championship oh level gosh. team that yeah. he went to, he would have contributed and, at a high and, level. And what do you if do? If he actually went to the Lakers, and what do you do on a on a team? You find their weakness. Oh, th- you get yeah. Listen, but here's the thing: you have better players around hold, you than the, your weakness on, is mass. Hold on, I'm, I'm, you know I'm, that. What do what if LeBron? No, listen. If LeBron went to the Lakers. With Kobe and Shaq and all them, <laughs> and they would have had a championship Stop. level team because that's what you're talking about. Yes, but you're what saying, I'm, who would have been ready to contribute to a championship level team? And, but my point is, is that they would have identified his weaknesses and made him do things. It he wouldn't matter. Com- he would have gave the ball to Shaq right, and Kobe. All right, we, I'm not. I don't. I would love to it continue this. Matter. You wild. We, we got. I feel matter. like I'm on first <laughs> take. I, seven assists I need already to be Molly. You wild, boys, gentlemen. You know they don't listen to Molly. <laughs> they, just keep, they just keep talking. Oh. trying to say? They're not going to listen to the women? They just keep talking? No, I'm saying, you know, it does, it does seem like that. Nobody he, he, can he, stop he, Stephen A when he's, yeah. when oh, he's right, going. Right. Nobody, Nobody can I mean? stop Brian when he's going. <laughs> no. <laughs> I no, see both like arguments, but I'm an LBJ fan. So listen, all I'm saying is way. it is very difficult to have guys like that who are rookies come I in. I don't disagree with that. It's very difficult. What I will say is I'm so nervous about the Knicks. Yeah, let him have his moment. A new daily fantasy app for prop bets is here, and it's called Thrive Fantasy. Forget the old school way of DFS. Thrive Fantasy has streamlined the drafting process and eliminated the need to do unnecessary hours of research by using only top tier athletes. That means no more salary cap. You just build your lineup around a list of prop bets. Here's how it works. For each contest, you choose 10 of the 20 prop bets, plus two ice picks that protect you from any late scratches or postponed games. Each unique prop has an over and under point value assigned to it, and you will be rewarded that value if the prop is correct. So for example, if Tom Brady throws for over or under 250 yards, the less likely the prop is to occur, the more points the choice will be worth. You build your team, score around the amount of correct prop bets you select. It's easy to play, so just check out the Thrive Fantasy link in the description of this podcast and get in the game with Thrive Fantasy today. All right, so these playoffs are here. Yes, we can look Saturday. The, we, yes, we can look through all these series. So we are here to let you guys know what our picks are for these playoff series coming up. Now, Golden State, let's move on. <laughs> I mean, like, really, Brian though? That's, that's that's, see how, you see how he does people here? In the short. Yo, you <laughs> want to you you end the podcast like that? Yeah, like, this is Golden State. Like, <laughs> all right, we're yeah. done. Bye. We're done. Right. Bye, guys. Again, again, yo, the margins are thin in this. Golden Not State for was, them. They almost <laughs> lost last year. I think, no, I, I agree with Gerard. Okay, I, no, no, I agree, but I, I'm like, like before. Look, the West seems. To I'm be being to have The more interesting first round matchups. Let's just get the East out of the do way they? real quick. Yes, they do. Oh yeah, no, they do. Uh, first in, round, not second in, round. In the East, uh, let's start with the top. Uh, you got Toronto against no, the Detroit. Milwaukee, Excuse Milwaukee. Me, Milwaukee. Yeah. What the hell am I doing? Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Detroit. Milwaukee against Detroit. Sweep. Uh, Milwaukee. Bucks, Bucks Milwaukee. Sweep. 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 No chance for Detroit to win a game. Zero. What has to happen for Detroit to win a game? Injuries. Um, Reggie Jackson goes off. Yeah. <laughs> and injuries. injuries. That's not happening. Injuries, injuries and the Bucks don't show up. Injuries. The Bucks don't show I mean, up. Well, the Bucks are hurt, so I'd probably give Detroit a game. 
But I mean, uh, I mean, like, a, are you giving Detroit a game? I, I mean, like a Maybe Giannis injury. A game. G- game four, gentlemen, sweep. I say sweep. Listen, uh, yes. Yeah, the, the Bucks sat their guys against the Nets, and the Nets yo, barely I, beat them. Yo, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Moving on to the next. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Raptors uh, magic. Toronto, yeah, Raptors magic. Uh, I say another sweep. Yep, Rap- another Raptors sweep. And four, sweep. Yep. I told you these first these first round you got five you give I give, I give Orlando four, a game yeah. I give Orlando and he, a game uh, giving them a game I mean Orlando's been playing good basketball I can see that let's get to the real Detroit. series uh, this is the two series Brooklyn Nets versus uh, the Sixers Sixers being three seed Nets being the six seed Nets Sixers uh, Embiid may not play early in this series we're mm. hearing does mm. that give the Nets a chance at all Brian our Nets fan over here <laughs> 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 I'm joking uh, our Nets reporter who's objective all the time um, what do you think do well, the Nets a, have any chance a lot of Nets fans think they're winning this series because they want Philadelphia and I'm here to tell them that I don't think it's going to happen personally although so Joel Embiid's injury makes things a little more interesting just yeah. because yeah. I don't know how Ben Simmons is going to play because he still doesn't You do know he's going to play. He's not going to shoot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's going to give you his – like, Yeah, his, but ooh. we also have um, I thought of something. Boban what? and Tobias Harris. I thought of something. Wait, 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 what? We're going to see Kendall. Oh, God, I don't care. I can't wait. I don't so care. Oh, my gosh. I here he care. is. I don't I'm care not excited. He is secretly like a pop culture junkie. <laughs> secretly. I'm, I'm, I'm that's openly. His, that's, yeah. his, that's his other lane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't think it's going to be a sweep. Sixers I think the six. Nets are going to give them a run for their money. I like but that yeah, picture. I like six. Sixers six. and six. 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 I'm, I'm giving six. the Nets two that means That means Gerard and I covered three Nets home games. Listen. What you told me the other day. Say what you told me the other day, Listen, listen. Listen, man. Listen. Don't say what you said to me the other day. As y'all know, I, I cover the Nets with Brian. Um, I'm going to be happy for my two Nets home games, and that's, and that's going to be all she wrote. That's all you think they're going to Listen. Be? I, th- ah. I think they're going to. You think they're going to gonna swept? Uh, no. I it'll, it'll, it. I think it'll be Sixers, I mean, Sixers and five. Sixers and five. five. And five. Right. I'll give the Nets a game. I'm going to say six. Sixers and I'm six. I'm giving the Nets two. I think they're going to be the Nets two games. You guys are be much nice. more. Because you know what? I look at it like how playoff series are won, top end talent. Sixers have just way more time. I, d- I don't disagree. Without yeah. Embiid, without Embiid, even without Embiid, without Embiid, do you still think they have the three best players in the series? Them being Tobias Harris, Ben Simmons, and um, Jimmy, Jimmy Butler in yes. the order. Yes, yes, oh, oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. yeah. And, and, I think, and you know I love Karras. That's my dude. But yes. All right. Four, Sorry, no, no, uh, no offense to Dilo, but <laughs> four-five matchup in the East. Oh, nobody hears this. that part. We right? have the under. The under. <laughs> no, I know some people will be mad. Yeah. We got the underachieving Celtics. <laughs> that, uh, again, <laughs> you love that I Pacers love and four. against against the Pacers. <laughs> Nobody's picking that. The now. genius Brad Stevens. Well, Can't wait to see what he does. That, that, that's what, listen. Will the genius Brad listen. Stevens figure it out and turn it around and get the Celtics to a championship? <laughs> Gerard and I want Pacers and Ford just, for the, just for the entertainment. Just for the comedy? It yeah. won't happen. It you won't guys. happen. Jenna, who do you have? Pacers and six. <laughs> <laughs> Celtics sweep. Wow. wow. Total disrespect well, to Boyan Bogdanovich. This is, this is the number one Kyrie Irving fan right here, so no surprise there. I Ooh. bleed green. She, 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 uh, Are you, oh. she loves Kyrie. That's her man. Uh, Uncle Drew. I like Celtics in six. I like Celtics in seven. I like – oh, you think so, seven? Yo. I'm going Celtics in five, so we all have different picks on yeah. here. Celtics in five. Celtics. Listen, they, they've, been, they've been uneven, up and down. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with, with Jason wants to Tatum. Jalen Brown Kyrie Irving in the face. Right. I mean, you know. <laughs> I will step uh, in front of that fist. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If it's seven, I, what, you know what Brian wants? Brian likes the anarchy. And I'm here for that, though. <laughs> so oh, if yeah, it goes no seven, can you imagine the whispers? And then it, the great Brad Stevens will pull out a miracle in game of seven. Of course. <laughs> what a coaching <laughs> genius. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. The inventor of basketball. I hope it happens just so I can hear you. Yo, I hope it happens so I can just hit up Gerard on Twitter and be like, yo, can we watch this game? <laughs> yeah. So no, we, we have so to. We, we, we got have to, to all get and together again, for a I, I, don't, I don't hate yeah. Brad. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't hate we'll Brad. You and just to be clear, I don't hate Brad. Yeah, some of y'all got to understand, like, we're kind of just messing around. Right, like, I don't hate well, Brad. Well, people you know that usually mean? listen to our podcast right, know. will know. Right. Us, us too. Yeah, like, yeah. We, know. we don't we, get as much yeah. pushback as I thought. Yeah. Except sometimes when I'll put a clip and, you know, Some whatever. people might Of course, yeah. But uh, it's like I said, the most important thing is respect to your peers, not love of the fans. Absolutely. But yeah. you want both. I think we yeah. all. I think from what we're all saying here is these first round series don't seem to be as interesting in the East as they would be in in, in the West. It doesn't feel a lot of drama unless we get Celtics in seven, which is what, <laughs> which is what yo, that's what yo, granted they had Oladipo Depot last year, but Indiana played Cleveland really well in the first that round. That is last true. Year, so that is true. I'm yeah. like, and I think I think I don't think they're better without Oladipo, Depot, no. but I think the supporting cast is good, and Oladipo Depot wasn't playing that well. And the one thing Indiana does not do is they don't roll over. 
they will grind. They they're like the they'll Nets. Fight, they're fight. like the Nets too. Nets are, that's, a, yeah. that's a good point. The Nets are the same way. They're they're they can roll over. They'll I'll fight. tell you what. Even if I picked them in five, it ain't gonna be an easy. No, five. definitely not. I'll that's, say that. That's much. why I think about Sixers and, and Nets. Why, I think those games are gonna be close. That's why I gave the Nets two games. They same. fight. Yeah. They, I, I, they do. I, yeah, we, we see that team. Yeah. And look, if D'Angelo gets hot, he'll win them a game for sure. You know, he's done it. So he's shown he can do that. All right, Western Conference. I know everybody. I think I know what everybody's gonna say about the first series. We gave some love to Doc earlier. Warriors playing. Clippers one versus eight matchup. What do you say, Gerard? You know what's funny? Clippers and four. Everyone's gonna say. Everyone's gonna say Warriors. <laughs> Warriors sweep. I'm gonna say Warriors in five because they're gonna fool around one game and Williams is gonna go off and they're gonna stay out too late at catch one night in L. A. Yeah. And then Draymond's gonna be like, ah, oh, yeah. whatever. Yep. They, they're gonna one game. They're gonna it's mess. It's gonna around. be one nineteen, one eleven. Yeah. They, 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 they gonna mess too. around one game. Lou Williams so, gonna have forty three. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody that has a yep. Warriors. I'm saying a Warriors sweep. I am not. I am not. Not mad at that. I mean, I think Warriors sweep is gonna happen, but I really would like that. Warriors in five. I just feel like they're gonna mess around. Hold on, now it gets interesting. Now here's where we get. I know. Now here's where it gets interesting. And I'm gonna tell you. Tell them what you told me yesterday, Gerard. This is my upset special. Oh, you got this first. Oh yeah. Oh my god. This is my upset special. I'm going right here, right now. I am saying Spurs in seven. Lamarcus Aldridge is going to give Jokic the business. You think? You think? Wait, you think they're gonna they're gonna win a game seven in in Denver? Oh yeah. In mile high. You have in the altitude. In seven. Altitude don't matter. Interesting. I got Spurs in seven. Listen. Greg Popovich's coaching advantage is going to come in come in handy here. Are you giving Greg Popovich the respect that a lot of people give Brad Stevens? Uh, I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sure am. I sure am. Greg Popovich, he of the five NBA championships. Mm. Brad Stevens mm. of the how many? Oh, oh, anyway. Is he well? um, <laughs> five over the course of a long time, too. Doesn't where matter. they were competitive every year. Right. Yes. No, no, no. I'm give, no, I'm 20 saying seconds, like, 20 seconds straight playoff appearance. Here's Championship the, contenders. Here's more the thing often about, than not. about Denver. They were awesome all regular season, but we have not seen them do it in the postseason. Mm-hmm. As, exactly. And as much, as much as I and hipster basketball Twitter loves Nikola Jokic. Yeah, me too. But here's I don't know what like. he's <laughs> going to be doing in the postseason when Pop decides, okay, we're going to scheme around what you guys do. And make Jokic be that guy for you, and mm. or be physical with him. Which right. when he's been physical, when people been physical with him, he's tend to shy away. Now I know Lamarcus Aldridge is not the most physical guy because he's always fading away from the basket too. But <laughs> that, that I do that. think like this matchup for the Spurs, if they can feed the beast in Lamarcus Aldridge, I do. The I think he'll guys. turn it on. So what, what's your prediction? Spurs take one of the first two games in Denver, and they win in six in San Antonio. Six, not in seven. Jenna, I'm gonna do Spurs in seven. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go Nuggets in seven. I'm oh. actually gonna roll with Denver. You're rolling with the See, young here's guys. the thing. I understand why we go. I love w- Gary Harris. I, I, love I understand why we go with playoff experience, but I always say, yeah. in order to get playoff, experience, you gotta get playoff experience. You gotta get playoff yeah. experience. Right. It's like in order to lose your virginity, you have to go have sex. All right, Brian. Yeah, t- <laughs> I told you that. Yes, I know. We, it's listen, the same yo, thing. Thanks. Thanks. Well, I, I never do that. Was, I never. I, I, I didn't no, see but it coming. I'm like, it, no, it, no, it, but I, that, that is a that is a <laughs> that, that is a fair but statement. That, but that's how but that's how it works. It's like yes. so with Denver. Yes, that is I how think it works. I yes, think with I think thing. with Denver they have a lot of depth. They do. They have almost too much depth. Where I'm like, I think they'll survive a seven game series. I think they're barely going to get by, but I think they'll get through a seven. Are you game series are, are, are you confident in Barton? I think I think Harris. Some, I think some of those guys are going to step up. Okay. Yeah. I, I hate to admit it, but up. my choice was made out of fear of the unknown. Because I mean, but that's real talk. That's, 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 real. that's real talk. Because yeah. we have Y'all probably going to be right. I'm sure. I'm, look, if there's a poll going around right now. Oh, I'm sure. That, that, I think that, the Spurs are probably winning the poll. I'm sure. I just don't I care. I think so, too. <laughs> you All know right, what I mean? Uh, next series, we got the uh, 3-6 matchup, which might be oh. one of the sexiest series right here. I know you're picking a the little, Thunder, Gerard. A little Russ I think you're picking Dave. the Thunder, too. You're damn right I am. <laughs> picking the Thunder. However, I think this is going to be a fantastic series, too. By the way. If I would have liked the series a little more if Yurkic was playing still. Yes, it, I, it's it's tough for Portland. There's no there's no Nurk. That's a problem for them. And by the way, if you look at the the bracket breakdown, the Thunder might backdoor their way into the Western Conference Finals. Mm-hmm. If you look at how it's that, set up, getting that six was a good Stop. good for them. They, they yeah. might. They can avoid the Warriors. They're, they're gonna avoid the Warriors. They they might cakewalk into right, the Western go, Conference Finals. I know y'all all have the Thunder. So well, yeah, Thunder, I'm going Thunder in six. Same. <laughs> and I and I love Jenna. Jane, but... Jenna. Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 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 Dame or Russ. It's really it's. This sounds like a. I don't think it's that. Here. I don't think it's Portland that. Portland in so, seven. Wow. See, here's here's my issue. Right? Really, Dame? Come on. No, I don't wait, think it's wait, a crazy. I'm, the reason I didn't the do the Thunder was because of consistency. 
Listen, they they're, are they're, not that's consistent. Here's, here's, I agree. Here's, they're here's, not. Here's my issue. And look, I like Portland better if they have Nurkic. Oh my God! If they, if they had Nurk, if they, I might have. They have Nurk. I'm taking yeah. Portland. My issue with this is uh, Portland last year was really disappointing against New Orleans. Yeah, yes, they but were. They trapped You're right. Out of Oklahoma is. City is arguably a better defensive team. With I think they are. Russ and Paul George. It's a nightmare on the perimeter. Wait, wait, and wait, wait. Not only them. You got Grant. They, they are long yeah. and annoying. On the, yeah. And you know my thing about little guys who lead your team on offense. I don't like uh, that. Yeah. And I don't what, like and, smalls. And, and, and what's Portland's record against uh, Oklahoma City this year? 0-4. 0-4. 0-4, yeah. Yep. And Portland's a jump shooting sorry, team. Sorry, Jenna. Portland's mostly a jump shooting team because their best two players are jump shooters. CJ yep. McCollum, who, by the way, is coming back from injury. And they're and all Damian what, Lillard. 6 3 and smaller. So I'm, I am so, playing with fire. With look, this you time. are playing with listen, fire. Listen, listen. I really like Portland. Damian I Lillard. Damian Dame. Lillard. Damian Lillard is one of my favorite. Up there with Kemba Walker, my favorite two players. By the way, to watch. I think Dame's going to be on my top five ballot for MVP. I think I just decided. I think that's fair. I'm gonna I have mo- no problem I'm, with I'm, that. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to move Get Dame in. Season. I'm going to move. I think I'm moving Dame in and pulling Jokic out. I think. I don't. Have, I don't have Dame. Up I think there. I'm going to put Dame in my top five. Because if you take Dame off Portland, what are they? Nothing. Oh no. Yeah. Trash. Yeah, they're yeah. trash. I, yeah, I, I, I agreed. All right, the last series of the, in the West, Wait, the first I, round. I, uh, Thunder and six. Th- oh, you Thunder and yeah. six. Oh, Thunder yeah. and six. Okay, everybody's Thunder winning except for Jenna. Um, <laughs> Rockets, Utah. Rockets, Utah. Uh, Rod has I, the I, Rockets I, in four. I, 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 th- I think the bigger thing about the series is will somebody in the Utah Jazz crowd say something that's racist? That's, <laughs> what, <laughs> I <wanna know. laughs> that's what I want to know. Funny what you mentioned that. I got an article coming out about that. It's Utah. Where? Nice. BT.com. Yeah, okay. okay. Be okay. Sure to, be BT sure to or SNY? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, SNY ain't going to roll. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. All right. So um, this series I find interesting. Uh, Rockets, uh, Jazz. Played each other last year. In it's gonna be a round. good sure one. Um, I think it's gonna be good. Except there was no Ricky Rubio in that one. Uh, I'm not saying that. Makes any <laughs> I wasn't trying to imply that. Uh, Brian, what do you, who do you got in this one? I, got I, I, knew, I, got I knew. I knew it. Wow. I knew it. Really? Because he hates James Harden. Utah. Oh, like, I like Utah James Harden. What? Utah in what? Uh, I have Utah in um, in six. Somewhere, Matt Finiza, our boy, is smiling. I have Utah in six because winning at home. Uh, but I just the way I'm looking at Houston, I'm like. I just don't have that much faith in anybody but James Harden on that team. Even Chris Paul now is having his worst season of yeah. his career. Yeah, that's all um, fair points. And I think Utah's deeper. I think Utah's better, and they defend well enough for me to have the confidence in them playing well in the playoffs where defense sort of matters more. They do to defend win well. Series. Jenna. <sighs> <laughs> we got to get to the next round. So. I love me some DM Donovan Mitchell, but I'm going to take Rockets in seven. That's fair. Okay. I don't think there's any bad picks here. No. Listen, Houston has been the best team in the NBA second half of the season. Rockets in five. Whoa. I'm not mad at that. I'm going Rockets in six. Um, I think they have too much firepower. I think they, they do. They, I, I do have concerns with what Ryan's saying. but I, I do, think, but I, And they're amazing but I at think winning that, on the I road. I think they'll figure it out, and I think the Jazz just don't have enough Listen, firepower. The, the Rockets went to toe-to-toe with the Warriors. I'm not mad you, at you, that. Utah Jazz scare them? I, I don't think so, but I wouldn't With sleep. an injured but Chris look, Paul. I, but here's the thing. You want to talk about playoff experience? Utah was pretty damn good last year. Yeah. They beat Oklahoma City in the first see. round with Donovan Mitchell as a rookie leading the way, and they're a little bit no better doubt. this year. So they're not, they're not going to be scared if no. that's your point, then I get that. Yeah. Neither yeah. team's going to be scared. Yeah. No. Now when, that, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for that series. Now we're not. Didn't we travel for that series? Yeah. Now we're not going to. We, obviously, we don't know what the second round matchups will be, but I guess what I'll ask for this one is who's coming out the West? Who's coming out the East right now? How do you feel before the playoffs start? Who's coming out of each conference? I picked it at the beginning of the season, so I'm sticking with it. Raptors and Warriors, Warriors and Six. How, who is in your conference finals, East Conference? Uh, Bucks and Raptors in the okay. East, and Warriors and Thunder in the West. Yeah. I, okay, we're actually on very much on the same page. Yeah, I, for, yeah. I'm going to say now I have the same things as you. Um, I think Raptors are going. I think Warriors are going to come out. Mm-hmm. I do think it'll be Warriors Thunder. I do think it'll be Raptors Bucks. Yep. I do think the East semis going forward will be really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm excited about that. But I'm with you. I got Raptors. I think Raptors are the best team. Yep. I think people are sleeping on them a little. bit. Think about bit. it. They're the same team they were last year. You swapped out Demar Derozan for Kawhi Leonard. They're just. I just like <laughs> and, 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 and Danny Siakam. Green and Siakam. Siakam. Yeah. I just like the way they can switch and defend yes. everything. And I yes. think they're good. Good. Who do you got coming out the East, Jenna? Oh my God, coming out the East, I have like you guys said. Who'd you have? Raptors. Oh yeah! Don't, I don't, ha- do, don't do the cheat sheet. I know. 
We are definitely not doing the voices after this. We are definitely not doing the voices after this. Look at those eyes. Yeah, like he's even stunned. No, I got honestly raptors coming out of the. Honestly, you sure? Come on, yeah. No, no, we talked about this. All right, and who do you who do who do you have out the west? She, she hates it because she knows Kevin Durant's going to win his third straight <clears throat> finals MVP and third time. She, 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 don't, she, don't, like, she don't like it. Warriors. Warriors. <laughs> so we got Raptors. Sorry, we got Raptors Warriors. You, Brian? Raptors Warriors. I have the, I have that ba- would be good. I have basically everything Gerard said. Everybody agrees. Yeah, I have basically everything Gerard. I mean, how could you not? You know what I mean? Like, I, as much as I want to see something different this year, just from a perspective. Oh, it is. Like, the Raptors. Yeah. Something different. No, 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 no. Oh, something different. Than the Warriors. Because we're definitely going to see something different because Cleveland yeah. sucks. Yeah, yeah. But. I'm right. saying, like, see something different in terms of the Warriors and whether or not And the even though it's going to be down for the NBA, I'm very curious to see a playoff. And I want to see the numbers without LeBron James. Without LeBron, yeah. I'm very curious to see yeah. what the That's average really person's going to say about I mean, th- th- playoffs. I still think Wait, it's let me like, t- we let will me love you. it still yeah. no matter. But I'm going to give you an example. What did I just say before? The highest rated series in the East is probably going to be Philly versus Brooklyn I agree. until the, the second first round. round. I agree. I'm really excited so to see I'm what like, happens because – Nobody has to power through LeBron James. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. As much yeah. as I want him to make the but playoffs. But it kind of makes but... it interesting. And it'll be cool if he's back next year, hopefully, and that team's good and they figure out what they can I, do. I think that Bucks raptors Eastern Conference Finals. Ooh, Ooh, that's boy. Be fun. <laughs> I can't wait. I agree with that, though. You're not excited I, I about think... that, Jenna? No, I am. <laughs> but no, but I agree. I, I think, know he's I think, been saying that. I, think, I do think Oklahoma City is going to get to the Conference yeah. Finals. I mean, they, this, this, bro- this broke so well for I them. I wouldn't They're mind walk, seeing that. I want to see that. I want to see KD against Well, listen, that's what I said to her. We were saying we, we were talking about this. All of us were talking about this before where if there's a team that could actually challenge Golden State, it's probably still Oklahoma City or Houston maybe if they get hot. Yeah, but my only probably, thing is... It's probably still Oklahoma City if they can right. play to their full potential. Is, it, Paul George has to be Superman. Yep. And yes. the other thing is, remember, this is the rivalry we should have had all along. That we wanted. Because I will go back to this statement and I'll say it again. Uh Uh-oh. The year after Durant won his MVP and he got hurt that year and they didn't make the playoffs, that was the year Golden State won their first title. They didn't have to play Oklahoma City that year, Mm -hmm. coming off a Durant MVP. And they barely beat him the second round, Uh, the second time around. Right. So we never got that true rivalry. I want it. I've been wanting it. I mean, mean, think about it. That is a really good point. If he never got hurt and they perhaps beat the Warriors, does Durant ever leave Oklahoma City? One never knows. We'll I want to see it just because how Chills. much how much of a gun Russell Westbrook's going to be. Oh, in you know he's going to oh, do that. Like, he he's going to go at. But you see, I'm like, so, I, I, I want to see that. Guess what? Control. Golden State. That's no, what, I don't want him. They're going to like control. Please, Russ, come on. <laughs> yeah, shoot come eighty on. times, baby. Turn the ball over. That's what we want. It's going to be so much fun to watch. Look, as much as I'm excited about the playoffs this year, I started thinking about predictions a little bit for next year. I'm going out on a limb here, guys. Huh? Next season, yeah, championship for the NBA. Wow. New York Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> we are the New no, York Knicks. I, I, okay, after I'm, this, we're going to the closest ER. We're going to get on the cast scan. And we're, we're hoping he's going to be all right. I mean, I mean, yo, I hope you're right because I'll get more MSG. No, I'm, I'm, totally I'm going to tell you something right, right? now. I'm so if joking. you get Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Well, I told you last time. We're not talking about that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> saying, if, I'm saying if you do, yes, you're in play. All right. I'm hold not, on, hold on. You're I'm in not, play. I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, finals, you got to rap. Fi- finals yeah. MVP? Kevin Durant. I'm going Kevin Durant third straight. I'm going Steph Curry. I'm going mm-hmm. Steph Curry as well. Oh. Of course it is. But you know. Oh, that's a, that's a podcast you know, cool. split. Like, right. He, he split. hasn't been as good in the playoffs as people would have liked. And I yeah. wonder why that is. Yeah. But I think this year he'll he'll turn it up. All right. So we'll see. Hey, guys, this has been fun. It was great talking awesome. to you We got to yes. wrap. We're out of time. We got we to do it again, man. This uh, is this yeah. is dope. Yeah, this was too fun. We want to thank everybody for listening and watching uh, yes, this crossover absolutely. podcast. We are definitely going to do it again. We'll try to see if we can do it again at some point yeah. throughout the playoffs. Yeah, midway through the playoffs. Midway through the playoffs. Oh, yeah, definitely. We, yeah, yeah, man, we, we, need a, we need some sponsors. We need a budget to send us on a trip. They need to send yeah. us uh, so we that, do Rockets, that Rockets Jazz Series. That might be fun. I don't want to go to Utah. Yeah, I go to Houston. If we in H-Town, that's great. Yeah. I ain't going to Salt Lake. Yeah, I go to Houston. Uh, H-Town is great. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. no, no offense to you Salt Lakers out there. <laughs> no yeah. offense. I mean, I'll go, I'll go either. <laughs> but I'll, I'll take it. All right, guys, thank you for joining us. Appreciate that, it. That yeah, was, thank uh, you. Well, and yeah. Thanks for having us. Of course, it's, of it's course. A ain't hard to tell. Seven Collab with the homies. Yeah, be sure to uh, support both podcasts. Keep listening, yeah. subscribing, uh, sharing everything. We appreciate all you guys out there for supporting us. Uh, for Gerard Hector, Jenna Lemoncelli, Brian Fonseca, I'm Dex Herring. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Deuces.